What's up, Street Thugs Brig here, and let's talk about the Rad Fire Scrapper. So some people had asked for this Rad Fire Scrapper, and it's a build that I have done before. I have tried it out thinking because it's a scrapper, it's going to do more damage. Um, it it might, it doesn't feel like it. Um, there's some issues with, with scrappers as farmers, which we will go over. Uh, but if this is your style and you want to do this, please, by all means, there's a build you can use as a guide. Uh, but the main reason I try to avoid using a scrapper is they don't have the inherent taunt ability that brutes and tanks do. So you will find that a lot of the minions and baddies and everything will be running away from you rather than staying on you. And that's a big deal because it does slow you down a little bit. I don't know how spines uh, scrappers get away with it. Maybe they don't. Uh, I did take a weapon mastery for caltrops to help slow it down. Of course, caltrops does make them want to run again even more, but at least slows them down because they're going to be running anyway. So let's jump right in this. We'll go over this real fast. So what you have here is obviously you have fire and cold uh, is going to be your main one for defense. Fire, obviously. Uh, it is a little higher right now because I do have stealth on. Granted, once you start fighting, it's going to drop down to about 45, 8, maybe 46. Uh, and then, of course, your fire. Now, fire is going to be at 75% and not 90, so you are going to be taking more damage. This is a build you will be cycling in your uh, heal, healing flames as well as radiation siphon. I did take radiation siphon for this and where I, for my brute, I did not because you are going to have to fit that in your rotation to help get as much healing as you can because the odds are you're going to die. Uh, if you keep that rotation going smoothly, you will be able to survive just fine. But keep in mind that uh, your biggest damage mitigator is going to be burn. The faster you can burn them down, the less damage you're going to take. Also, another thing that I, that I do a little, little differently on this on this character is I do not run with plasma shield or fire shield on. I have them turned off. You can run them as long as you're running your destiny with ageless. You will be okay. But I usually keep them off just for the extra endurance. You don't need them. You're going to be capped at 75% without them. I did try to move things around to see if I can get more damage out of it. But unfortunately, uh, taking Plasma Shield and Fire Shield gives you 3.13% uh, fire defense on each of them with taking the Aegis enhancements. So I couldn't lose them. So I did keep them. But I do run them with them off because you're not going to need them. And temperature protection is an auto power, so it's going to be running at all times. So... We're going to kind of go over the powers here. Uh, so we got Radioactive Smash, Fusion, Radiation Siphon, Irradiated Ground, and Atom Smasher. And that's for the Radiation Melee. Melee For Fiery Aura, we have Fire Shield, Blazing Aura, Healing Flames, Temperature Protection, Plasma Shield, Consume, Burn, and Fiery Embrace. Okay. And then for the pull powers, we took uh, Combat Jumping or Leaping. For Speed, I took Hasten and Speed. For Concealment, I took Stealth Grant and Visibility. Again, that's going to be your mule powers for your recharges. And then Leadership, I took Maneuvers and Assault. Uh, you can opt to take Tactics if you want to. Um, I did take Targeting Drone a little later. And then for Weapon Mastery, like I said, I took Caltraps, uh, Targeting Drone, and Exploding Shuriken, 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 uh, um, Ninja Star. But, uh, and... Weapon Mastery is a little unorthodox, especially for me. I'm usually more about, you know, big powers, big explosions and stuff. Um, but Caltraps does help slow them dam down as well as give you a minor dot. So more damage. AoE is better. As well as a, a Exploding Shuriken, which is also an Exploding AoE. So more AoE is better. For Incarnates, I took uh, Agility Core Paragon. And that is for your Alpha. And then, of course, for your Ion Judgment. I always do Ion Judgment. I, I, I just say Ion Judgment rather than just Judgment. Uh, for Destiny, I took uh, Aegis Core Epiphany. Uh, for uh, Interface, I took Reactive, uh, Radio, Flawless Interface. And then for your Hybrid, I took Assault. More damage, more damage. Okay? And then, so now we'll kind of go over each of these abilities here. Um, for Radioactive Smash, I took Hecatombs, okay? And I took uh, all but the chance for negative damage. You can choose to take it. I don't really use Radioactive Smash in my build, so the chance of getting that damage is very low, if any at all. So there's no reason to really even put it in there. It doesn't matter. If you find it's cheaper for some reason to get than the other one, go for it. Really, you're just trying to get the 10% recharge um, out of all of that. Uh, and, of course, the 6% fire recovery or 6% uh, fire re cold resistance as well as the recovery. Okay, we'll jump over here to Fire Shield. Typical what I do with a lot of my fire farmers is three Aegis uh, and I 
always go for the resistance, uh, resistance endurance, and a resistance recharge, mainly so I can focus on getting my resistance as well as get a little bit of endurance. Um, this one I'm not running, so it doesn't really matter. All you're really trying to get at this point is just the three ages, so you can get uh, the 3.13 fire defense, okay? And then, of course, I have the gladiator's armor, which is the 3% defense, all blazing aura. I took all six of the superior critical strikes. You get a bunch of stuff for that one. Can't even see it on the screen right now, but because um, there's so much stuff on that screen. But uh, you can look at it right here. 4% recovery, 5% accuracy, which is a good one. 2.5% uh, fire defense, as well as 10% enhancement recharge. Great one, and 4% damage, also great. Down, to, down here to healing flames. Just like Fire Shield, the only difference is I focus on all the recharge ones, which in this case is the Resistance Recharge, Endurance Recharge, and the Resistance Recharge uh, Endurance, the RER, the rear. Uh, so in that, again, 3.13 Fire Defense. Come down here to Combat Jumping. Same thing I usually do for, for Combat and Jumping. It's pretty much, there's very few times that I will change this out, especially with my Fire Farming characters. But again, you got the Luck of the Gamblers, the global recharge and then you have five red fortunes and i'm trying to get the fire resistance it did help in this case because i'm not running with the fire or the plasma shield going so it does help uh, and then of course the two percent damage buff as well as the five percent enhanced recharge we'll come down here hasten got two slots here both with the regular recharges temperature protection uh this is the same setup as fire shield uh exact same setup except for the fact that i've got uh, the Steadfast Protection, which again is 3% defense in the 4th spot rather than Gladiator's Armor. Come over here to Super Speed. I did go with Winter's Gift. In this case, I did not get the Slow Resistance one. I just went with the, the other two out of the three, which is all the Travels and then Travel plus Endurance. Uh, this one, you get 3.75% resistance to Fire and Cold. That is why I took it. Jump up here to Stealth. Just a Mule Power. Luck of the Gamblers. Uh, plasma shield again just you just needed three in this case I, I went with the same ones that i put into fire shield as well as temperature protection just the resist endurance resist recharge and resistance 3.13 fire defense come over here to radiated ground i took all six of them i did go back and forth with this one i i had only five and i put this chance for smashing damage somewhere else and in this one i had the resist debuff the idea is it's radiated ground is going at all times it's going to make them make your baddies a little easier to hit if their resistance is down but i decided just to flip it just test it out you can you can do what you want in this case i took all six so i have not only am i doing the fire damage or radiated damage i'm also doing a chance for smashing damage so you can do that if you want to or you can do the resist it's up to you uh consume all six avalanches Again, this is the typical one. You're going for all six because you want the 5% fire defense. And then grant invisibility. Again, luck of the gambler, recharge, mule power. Uh, maneuvers, luck of the gambler, and of course the same red fortunes because a little bit of fire and cold, the uh, damage buff as well as the recharge buff. Come over here, radiation siphon. Uh, this one I usually do devastating blow and I put all the superior blistering colds in this one. But in this case, because you do not have as much resistance and it is a little bit more health you can get back i took uh radiation siphon and put the blistering coals in this one so again all superiors uh, again for five percent fire defense come over here to burn i took five of the superior scrapper strike make sure you do get the the recharge critical hit bonus i leave out the aider the accuracy damage endurance recharge i just left that one out took all the other ones i mean four percent damage and ten percent uh recharge again massive boost over here to invisibility again another mule luck of the gambler Adam Smasher, I took uh, five of the Armageddons. In this case, I did take chance for fire damage as well as the re chance resist debuff. Now, this is the resist debuff I mentioned earlier in a Radiant Ground where I swapped it out with uh, with uh, Obliterations. I did stick it in here. Um, it doesn't have as much chance to hit because Adam Smasher is not going at all times, but it does have a chance to get a resistance debuff on them. And, of course, the Armageddons for the accuracy the recharge and the six percent fire cold as well as recovery and recovery is a big deal here if you do not have ageless you are going to struggle a little bit come down here to caltreps i have five of the ragnaroks you can choose to take the knockdown taking knockdown here might not be a bad idea because caltreps is already going to slow them uh throwing knockdown here is probably not a bad idea because it will not only slow them down but it will actually keep them flopping for you 
So maybe you have a chance of keep it, preventing them from running away. Like I said, that is a big issue with scrappers on farms. Uh, assault, I just took endurance, a blue. Uh, targeting drone, took two of the just targeting. That is because I get a 2% damage buff. Uh, exploding shuriken. This one is um, frozen blast, but I did not put catalysts in them. They are just normal frozen blast. Um, the reason is because I was trying to squeak out that 3% for fire cold resistance because I was not running fire shield and, and uh, temperature protection. If you don't take it, you will be below 75%. You could run fire shield or plasma shield and get that. But the problem is, is almost everything in here is already somewhere else. So you're going to end up losing all the set bonuses. So it's just better just to keep it at 3%. Come down here to firing base, just one recharge. If you wanted to switch out something to put two in there, that's up to you. You can sacrifice one of the adjusted targetings you wanted to. You do lose that 2% damage. Your choice. They are different, but very similar. You know, they're going to boost your damage, your accuracy, whatever. If you want to switch these out with the targeting drone and maybe uh, stick one recharge and targeting drone and put two in firing brace, that is your call. You want to do that, that's fine. Now over here in health, I put the miracle or plus recovery, as well as the numinous convalescence for the regeneration recovery. And then a stamina, I just put the stamina. So I hope that gives you a general idea of what to do. Obviously you can tweak it however you want it to, to kind of fit your style. If you have a suggestion or maybe an idea, granted, even though Scrapper was probably the first character I ever made, I am more partial to playing tanks. But if you know a way to tweak the Scrapper to get more damage out of it, please let me know. Please leave a comment. I would love to hear it. Usually I go into farming thinking as much recharge as possible because I want to just keep blasting them as fast as possible but I want to survive. I don't want to worry about my health. I just want to survive. With the Scrapper, you will be worrying about your health. If this is your play style and you want that challenge, go for it. But hopefully that helps you guys. If you guys want to have any questions or suggestions for other builds, please ask. I do have a couple more builds I am working on. Uh, I believe I'm working on a Stone Dark. Uh, I got a request for that and there was another one too. I forget right now, but um, I am working on those. So I will have those out soon. But thank you guys for watching. We are almost to our goal. It is moving quickly. I'm very excited about it. Still trying to think of what I want to do. I was even considering at 990 just doing a freaking live-a-thon where I just keep streaming until I hit a thousand. We'll see. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate all your support. If you have a question or have a suggestion, please leave it. Please remember to subscribe, like, ring the bell for notifications. If you have friends who play City Heroes who might benefit from some of my builds, please share the video with them. Thank you guys so much. I will see you again soon. Stay golden and take care. Bye-bye.